Hi, I'm Professor Stanley Wawuto, Vice Chancellor of Mount Kenya University. 2020 has been a challenging year, but despite the adversity, we have triumphed. This is our story of resilience. I want to inform you that the Ministry of Health has confirmed the first coronavirus case in Kenya. This announcement sent shockwaves of panic across the country. We have suspended learning in all our education institutions with immediate effect. And as soon as President Uhuru Kenyatta made that statement, it was time for the leadership of Mount Kenya University to think outside the box and prove the university's resilience and prowess to navigate through unpredictable times. With face-to-face -face learning halted, online learning was the only option that the university had to embrace fully. MKU had been carrying out online learning through the open distance and electronic learning platform. And from the sandy beaches of Mombasa to the dusty plains of Kajado, and the highlands of Kenya's breadbasket Kitale in Transoia County, MKU students were back on track, continuing with their studies. Yes, madam. We are in question four. Sadiq Musa, an MKU student taking a Bachelor of Commerce program, is one of the students who is reaping the fruits of online learning. It's 100% easier to study online and we interact with many students from different places, Rwanda, South Sudan, Kenya, uh, Somalia. We interact with my classmates who have gone to their countries. So we are able to tell that a lecturer logged in and what they did, whether they gave a lecture, what, how long was it. We are able to tell that the student uh, attended and we are also able to tell whether the student submitted their assignment on times and all that. So we, I can assure you that what we are doing is of high quality. MKU is reaping the benefits of continuous improvement in technology, which has seen it win accolades in the information technology sector over the years. Its partnership with technology giants, including signing an MOU with Microsoft in the year 2019, came in handy as the university blended the Sakai system that it has been using with Microsoft Teams system. We've seen a new change whereby the Microsoft provision within the university has been everything. We have engaged ourselves through Microsoft Teams in meetings, examinations have been conducted, and many other tasks including teaching have been done through the teams. The platform that we're using are student-friendly or even device-friendly that they can learn on any device. You just need a mobile phone, a smartphone. It, it will open Microsoft Teams for you to attend interactive classes. How do we equip these people so that they can be ready for jobs that do not exist today? And that what all this framework that we are trying to put uh, uh, in place with you here at MKU is about. Also, having endeared itself to telecommunication giants including Telcom Kenya and Safaricom, it was time for Mount Kenya University students to reap the fruits of such collaborations. At the university, we did get into partnership with the Safaricom, uh, which gave us a subsidized uh, price of the bundles. We also, uh, that time, we were already in partnership with Telecom uh, that gave us also reduced uh, price for the bundles. Majority of the students were able to undertake their exams online with MKU ensuring the integrity of such exams even if every student was doing the exam miles away from the invigilators. Basically, you can monitor through the camera uh, the facility. The, the, the presence or absence and the movements of students. The timing of the exam is such that uh, really uh, if you create a situation where as a student you spend so much time looking for information, uh, you get time bad. We have worked with the academics and made sure that uh, we have pools of questions in our system 
so that uh, there are variety of questions to select from. So that uh, if, um, if, if we are in the same class, we are not doing the same. Ex the, we are not doing the same exam. These questions are different, and the ordering is so different. If there are multiple choice questions, the, the ordering of the answers to the questions are also different. So it's like if, if you have a thousand students doing one examination, then each ex each student will have a different exam. Education is a key factor in combating poverty and inequality in society. And Mount Kenya University has come up with innovations in teaching and learning that will enable the university to contribute immensely to the attainment of Kenya Vision 2030 and Sustainable Development Goals 2030. Being a university with great foresight, Mount Kenya University collaborated with TV47, a fast-growing television station in the country, to transmit MKU University lessons through the station. Hello class, I welcome you to our lesson today on communication skills. This collaboration not only benefiting MKU students, but also students from other universities who can access TV sets. When you talk about linguistic competence, this is the knowledge that somebody has of a given language. The transmission of MKU lessons on TV influenced MultiChoice to make a landmark decision which saw TV47 onboarded on DSTV platform Channel 268. As concerted efforts were being made to ensure that the online platform was working, the university leadership was also working hard to put in measures to ensure that the institution was compliant with the Ministry of Education's guidelines on measures to prevent the spread of COVID-19 and eventually lead to the reopening of MKU facilities for face-to-face -face learning. This includes installation of temperature checking machines, automatic sanitizer dispensers, installation of hand washing points, marking of offices and other spaces with social distancing signs, fumigation of the entire university, marking and proper arrangement of lecture rooms in order to ensure social distancing. The efforts bore fruit because in August 2020, the Cabinet Secretary for Education, Professor George Magoha, and an inspection team from the Ministry of Education visited Mount Kenya University, Thika Campus, and gave it a clean bill of health on its compliance to COVID-19 prevention guidelines, declaring the university ready for reopening. That leading to the university recalling its final year medical school students back to campus in order to continue with their studies and possibly complete their course on time. Medicine is actually hard to learn virtually. So doing it face to face is a relief as much as we have to take more precautions, which the school has tried to put everything in place in terms of the social distancing, we have sanitizers and we have the masks and the hand washing stations. So we are trying our best to uphold the COVID-19 regulations that have been set up. And as much as it's different, we appreciate the efforts and we are happy that the school has seen this through to the end. I'm happy because one, uh, I see hopes that maybe at the end of this year I'll be a medical officer in town. MKU Medical School also achieved another milestone after it was ranked top by the East African Medical and Dental Practitioners Board. This a clear indicator that MKU Medical School is a leader in the training of medical personnel. Our focus has been on making sure that we have the rich site academic resources and, and that means that the medical school of Mount Kenya University has the necessary infrastructure for teaching. The university further recalled final year students who are undertaking science-based programs so that they can undertake their practical bit of their studies. MKU scholars led by Donatas Njoroge also cracked their brains and invented a COVID-19 contact tracing system known as COVID Trace, which one can install on their phone as an app. We are in talks with the university management to have the system as part of our internal mechanism to, to do contact tracing here internally as a way to, um, to prevent spread of the coronavirus. 
we are actually carrying out um, a prior study with the other stakeholders. And as, as I've mentioned, the Minister of ICT approved that for adoption. Besides COVID-19, uh, we have recently won an award uh, uh, from JICA, this is the Japanese Agency for Overseas Development, uh, working together with Osaka City University, Mount Kenya University and Homer Bay County. And we shall, we, we have uh, approximately 450 million Kenya shillings that uh, will, among other things, uh, develop a state-of-the-art uh, infectious diseases lab here at Mount Kenya University at the tune of around $1 million, which is 100 uh, million Kenya shillings. And uh, this lab will build our capacity to uh, do research in infectious diseases. And uh, our focus will really be on malaria and other and emerging infectious diseases such as uh, COVID-19. During these unpredictable times of COVID-19, Mount Kenya University partnered with Partners for Care, a non-governmental organization based in Nairobi, to provide water backpacks to communities and improve on their hygiene. These efforts were recognized. Um, uh, in the middle of this year, we were able to get an award. It is called um, University Innovative Civic Engagement Award that were given by Terrorist Network. Uh, it's a network of about 76 universities in the world. And, and uh, we, were one of the, we were one of the recognized universities. There were five universities in total in, from different parts of the world. And the reason why we were recognized is because of our community outreach activities. And part of this uh, recognition and award is uh, $20,000, $20, which will help us to continue rolling out these activities. We plan to continue with the water treatment programs in uh, Laikipia County. We'll also continue with our Jiga treatment program in Kilifi County. And uh, these experiences, all these activities, you have an opportunity of sharing with other institutions uh, in a meeting that will be held next year at Harvard University. MKU ICT official Geoffrey Omangi was the overall winner in a competition to develop a new name and logo for International Network of Universities. Omangi had participated in the competition in which Taloas Network, which is headquartered in America, is seeking to change the name for Taloas Network to Taloas Network of Engaged Universities. And there is no stopping for this academic giant. In September 2020, Mount Kenya University, TV47 and the Postal Corporation of Kenya signed a memorandum of agreement that will see Postal Corporation of Kenya provide MKU with logistical support between MKU campuses. MKU students will also benefit through internship placement at the Postal Corporation while TV47 will carry out marketing activities for the Postal Corporation. They have a new provision called mobile post and mobile post when it is also embraced by our students is an opportunity for us to be able to contact our students and communicate to them with a lot of ease it's making your phone to be your box number the university is also in the process of completing the construction of an ultra-modern 2,000-seater convention center at its Thika campus. The facility is expected to enhance training and talent development among students and other members of the society. If there's any institution that gives me a lot of pride, it's this university. It shows the capacity that we as Kenyans have, that you can actually start a university from zero and run it to have 40,000 students. The university has embraced ICT by providing a virtual tour of its facilities, thus enabling students to digitally interact with the university facilities and academic resources at the comfort of their homes. Besides being an academic giant in Kenya, Mount Kenya University is also making strides in Rwanda. Mount Kenya University has been in Rwanda for 10 years and in those 10 years it has recorded several milestones, one of them being the construction of a state-of-the-art campus in 
uh, Kagarama area of uh, Kigali, which is a prime location. Uh, that was after several uh, locations were merged into the new campus. And the other one is uh, purchase of state-of-the-art equipment. Uh, Mount Kenya University has uh, uh, invested massive resources in ensuring that uh, equipment are purchased for training of uh, nurses and uh, public health and even pharmacy as well. Following the COVID-19 pandemic, the university has positioned itself to be able to uh, remain vibrant by investing in uh, health protocols. The year 2020 has also brought another first for MKU, holding of the first virtual graduation ceremony. Well, it is not all books for students and scholars here. Jerusalem, We also take time to let loose. After all, we are here to unlock infinite possibilities.